Last time on Phoenix Wings, Fyra summoned all the fairies to Fairy Plains to warn them about the upcoming Aurelius attacks and sends Piri and Lyrica to warn the spirit mediums. Meanwhile, Nell and his friends learned the truth behind the four treasures and made their decision to rebel and destroy them. They traveled to the Tower of Eternity, where the Royal Court awaits. Will they defeat them and enter Ares alive, or will their journey end before it's begun? Find out in Episode 19, Into a World. There are four members of the Royal Court. Their duty is to protect the King and the citizens of Magi City, one of the three utopias in Artemis. Three of them share a dark past and a unique talent that enabled them to wield a sacred treasure. But one member shares something far more valuable than what they have. And that was love. Are you ready? Yes. Release the chain. You're starting with the solar staff? Boring. Just go in your other form and it'll be dead in five seconds. She's merely testing both magical and physical techniques for when she faces Lord Nell. I suppose, but again, she can just go to her other form and bam done. There are more ways than just using it in battle, Balto. Or have you become too obsessed with that power? Look, I'm just making a suggestion. I mean, come on, it's not like she shares any compassion for Nell. So, why hold back? I would recommend watching closely to the fight. Like Zoo said, it's more than using one tactic in battle. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Looks like my attacks aren't doing much damage. Although it seems to be having a hard time regenerating. Rosie, what exactly are you trying to gain from this pointless battle? I want to see how long it'll take for a mere individual to take down an Aurelius. There will be times where we have to face this conflict ourselves. An Aurelius can regenerate at a quick pace and strike again. However, with proper strategy and use of your skills, it'll have a hard time recovering. Hmm, I wonder what they would accomplish by rebelling against us. Surely they can't expect to defeat an entity like this so easily. Rosalia! Relax, old man. She's fine. Though I did not expect her to let her guard down. Yeah, it did seem weird. Probably thinking about Nell and his friends again. Did you honestly think you could kill me that easily? Finally, we get to the fun part. A golden light that engulfs her entire body. Same color as that blonde streak she has. The secret to our strength is none other. Than our Aurelius form. <laughs> She's even sexier in her Aurelius form. Must you always be so vulgar? It's who I am, and I'm damn proud of it. I should wipe that smirk off your face right now and- Please calm down, General. Must I remind you that it's not worth wasting your energy on Balto? <laughs> I suppose not. Disgusting. My lady, your wounds. Please let me patch you up. I'm fine. You've lost quite a lot of blood there. Consider Sean's advice Did and... I stutter? I said I'm fine. Get some rest, all of you. Well, looks like one of us are on cleaning duty. I'm going back home to see my daughter. <laughs> Tell her I said hi. All right, Sean, time to clean up this man. And she's gone. Wonderful. Guess I'm on cleaning duty again. Oh well. At least I can enjoy my dinner in peace.
Are you sure you're going to be okay? You were bleeding profusely when you came in. For the last time, I'm fine. If that's all you came here for, you're dismissed. I'd like to be alone right now. Yes, my lady. I know you're here, Sean. Forgive me for invading your privacy. I couldn't help but worry about your condition. <sighs> if you wish for me to leave, I will do so now. No, you can stay. My lady, if you don't mind me asking, why did you allow that Aurelius to impale you? Had it not been your Aurelius form, you could have been in mortal danger. It's not like you to let your guard down. I was thinking about the past. The past? Nine years ago, I had a baby brother. He was almost three when the Great Depression tragedy happened, and I barely escaped with him from the Aurelius. I've always wondered whether I did the right thing to leave him in the Lumine Woods or not. I recall you returning from Castalia Village a bit troubled the other day. Then there's what happened back at Lord Vane's ship, where you never once made a glance at him or reacted when I almost attacked him. He thinks his sister is still alive, and spent his entire life looking for her, but he doesn't know the truth. That she died, and became half Aurelius. <laughs> Rosalia. <laughs> no one cared about us when we needed help. That's why Ethiel Village has bad blood with Magi City. All we were to them was a bunch of sorry excuses. <laughs> That's why I want all of humanity to become Aurelius. I want them to see how it feels to be hated, to be left behind like crap. Even if I have to shed blood, manipulate the higher-ups, or rape with love and soothe my rage. I will always support you. You've saved my life, now it's my turn to repay the favor. I will help you make your beautiful nightmare a reality. <sighs> Tell me, Sean. Has it been three days already? Yes. We will head to the Tower of Eternity first thing in the morning. I have a feeling Nell will be there. They will likely refuse to return home. If it comes to that, then we'll simply kill them and have them join us in becoming Aurelius. Hmm. Imagine awakening the Phoenix Esper again, as well as a raging Aurelius spirit medium. <laughs> it would be a beautiful sight to behold. Indeed. Would you honor me with a song? I think I've done enough talking for tonight. Of course. The old, innocent Rosalia died with the flames of nine years ago, and a leader was reborn. I've manipulated my way into the royal family of Magi City by becoming a top scholar, a guardian, a tactician. In this world, manipulating the right people can lead you one step closer to your goal. I want everyone to suffer the same pain I've endured all these years. <laughs> I was hoping you'd turn yourselves in quietly, but instead, you all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. If fighting you is what it takes to defeat the Aurelius and save everyone, then so be it. I'd like to see you try to get past us. We'll see about that. Let's go! You've gotten better with your technique now. You're fighting just like your father. <clears throat> Spare me your compliments! Just because you're my father's friend, doesn't mean I'll go easy on you! I wouldn't expect you to be! He's too fast! I can't keep up with him! <clears throat> Surely you can do better than that! Don't worry now! I've got your back! Thanks, Elliot. <sighs> My patience is wearing thin with these kids. Damn it! Stay still so I can shoot you! 
Silly girl, it's futile. It'll take more than just your ability bullets to defeat me. Wanna bet on that? Oh, give me a break! You're a siren and you have regeneration powers? Thanks to Rosalia, my body is entirely made of water. Therefore making it impossible to kill me. So not only is she crazy, but she's also a mad scientist? Regardless, there's always a weak spot even in regeneration. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that giggling. Why don't you relax and enjoy my soothing melody? Cyrus, I owe you one. No problem. Let's teach Sean a lesson. <laughs> you sure you don't want to stop now? You look kind of tired. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna stop until you're lying on the ground dead! Your obsession with me soothes my ears. More than Sean's beautiful singing. <laughs> Quit leering and fight me, seriously! You shouldn't have let your guard down there, Salem. Fall back, Balto. With pleasure. Though next time, let me play with my target. I didn't even get a chance to show my full potential. You okay, Salem? I'm fine. Not too happy with that bitch using illusions against me. Be careful. Rosalia alone is never a good sign. Come forth, Ambriel! How the hell are we gonna beat that? Please tell me you have a plan, Nell. <laughs> I, uh... Uh, Nell, uh, we could really use that big, strategic brain of yours right now. I don't know Ambriel's weakness. Oh, man. Are we really screwed? Get back! That voice! Lieutenant Thorne! Is that another dragon? What? Fire! <laughs> Lady Rosalia! Why must you always stand in our way? Nell, now's your chance. Hurry and activate the gate to Ares! How did you know we were here? I thought you were heading to Euclesia City. There's no time to explain. Just go! He's right now. We have to go now. All right. We'll be back, Lieutenant. I promise. <laughs> I know you will. Once again, you've made an unwise decision there, Lieutenant. Five against two, and this time, you won't be so lucky to escape with your life. Well, you may be right about a few things. I can't beat all of you. However, this time is going to be different. But it won't end with me limping back to my beloved Crystallania Empire. Finish him. This is the end, Lieutenant. Unfortunately, General, you won't see the last of me! Try and survive through this! Grandiose Tsunami! Empire's really starting to get on my nerves. For once, I agree with you. Shall I follow them? No, I need you to stay here. Balto will take care of them. I want them dead, am I clear? You're not serious, are you? They've learned too much, General. And with Alintia breathing down our necks, we can't afford to make any more mistakes. Besides, protecting the Ruby Crown is my job. Just leave Ares to me. I will not tolerate failure, Balto. Yeah, yeah. 
What about Lieutenant Thorne? I'll take care of him. In the meantime, I want you to contact your daughter and use her powers to see what Alencia has in store for the future. We'll see what we can do. Rosalia. They really are a bunch of foolish children. Lieutenant, that was unwise of you to cast such a powerful spell against all four members. Had I not been there, you would have been dead. That's why I brought you with me. If I may ask, why do you have such faith in these children? You barely knew them, and yet you allow them to handle such a perilous task. Alencia will feel uncomfortable about this. Her Majesty always trusts my judgment. These children share the same goal as us. They, too, want to get rid of the Aurelius. But even they <coughs> don't know about Magi City and the Royal Court. I think after what just happened, they'll figure it out for themselves. If they return from Ares alive, I'll give them a chance. Surely you have faith in them too, Sharma. That's enough, Lieutenant. Please rest. I will handle the rest. Yes. Thank you. Not even you know everything, Lieutenant. I just hope they make the right decisions. One mistake, and it's all over. So this portal will take us to Ares? I guess so. All we need to do is activate it with magic. Let's hurry. I'm worried Lieutenant Thorne may not be able to hold them off much longer. <laughs> you guys can't be serious about actually destroying the treasures, right? Look, why don't we all calm down and reconsider all of this? If you turn yourselves in quietly, then I'm sure Rosie will spare your lives and everything will go back to normal. And what about us surface folks? We're dealing with the Aurelius on a daily basis now! How exactly would everything go back to normal if thousands of lives are still lost? That's right! The spirit mediums may not be strong enough to defeat them, but if we destroy the treasures, we may have a chance to get rid of the Aurelius for good! We? You honestly think you're just as hopeful to be as rid of the Aurelius as everyone else? Well, yeah! This is my home! Why would I not? <laughs> That's a good one. You don't remember who you really are, do you? First Vane, now you? Why are you people comparing me to something else? So not to interrupt this lovely conversation we're having here, uh, but am I the only one hearing water? That can't be good. Everyone, grab onto a mine, quick! Where is she? I don't see her! There she is! She's drowning! Damn it! Mel! Watch my back! I'm gonna open the portal by myself! Alright! Just be careful! Wait! Are you sure it's safe to do that? Only one way to find out! I trust Salem's capability! <laughs> Such a shame to kill you, Salem. Ah, but don't worry. I'll return home and send Erica a nice souvenir for her. Oh, no, you don't! <gasps> hey! Iris! Come on! Wake up! Mel! Behind you! Open, go! Here, I'll carry her. Thanks. Just hang in there, we're going in. Don't worry, Belto. 
I'll bring back a souvenir for Erica. This won't be the last time we meet. Consider yourselves criminals of Magi City. If that's what it means to save Artemis and Alice's place, then so be it. <laughs> As if you could ever take her place. But don't worry. You and your friends will join her soon enough. My lady, your father has returned to see you. He wishes to discuss some personal matters. Yes, I expected his arrival. Please bring him in. I have some news to share with him myself. Of course. Euclesia City. I hope these children return from destroying the Ruby Crown soon, before it's too late. It all begins now. So they've escaped Ares. Have you entered as well? I created my own door. You know how it goes. But don't worry, I'll take care of the rest and keep you updated. Do not fail me. <laughs> Let's see how far you're willing to go, my dear Nell. Eventually, they all come back and realize it was all a big mistake. Let the games begin. And this time, please make it interesting for me. Data Entry 64. Thank God we made it to Ares alive. I seriously didn't think I was going to make it after almost drowning and getting motion sickness from the portal trip. Next time on Phoenix Wings. Episode 20. The Desert of Ares. Let the journey begin!